Uh, I'm Jess Bunning and uh, from Save the Children and working with the Warmbra um, Marine United Partners Initiative, WAPI, up on the Dampier Peninsula, which is about 200 kilometres north of Broome. In my role, I'm pretty much the voice of the community. Um, I act as the conduit between the services, the agencies and the community. I find myself in this role um, a part of this evolution sort of coming through with the cultural governance being implemented into our community governance structure or the regional governance structure that we have, um, which is quite new, and saying that it's sort of come through um, a development or developing social planning model that the community is developing um, with the support from the partnership from the WAPI. WAPI is pretty much made of uh, uh, state and federal government um, and also corporate agencies um, so and working in line with communities as, as part of the co-designing of how services should be delivered into the community which is pretty much community-led. The navigators themselves have been collecting the data doing their own research um, there's been a lot of effort put into building the capability and capacity of the navigators and then, then also forming their own steering committees which is like their little local leadership groups within their community to capture all those voices in community and households to find out why with so many service providers going up and down the peninsula which is over 50 are the children's outcomes that are shown in, in the ADC results have been going backwards and so it's really about capturing their um, ideas which they know they want to see in their community and then uh, bringing that all together to sort of act as one voice and they've been forming through their steering committees a leadership group across the region. As part of my role evolving and, and establishing the role um, what is quite fascinating is uh, my role actually did not come with a job description. I found myself in this space and put in a driver's seat, so to speak, and with my community behind me and saying, okay, where are we gonna take this? I think the first step was to look back at what had worked in the past in our community, how services were being delivered and having positive outcomes, and to capture that and bring that with us and go forward with that. Because the community had acknowledged through the navigator work that I've been doing in the with the um, surveys and the consultations, we've actually, um, we're not saying it's, it's early, early childhood, yes, um, but where does it all begin? And it all begins with actually starting a family. It brought us back to identifying that parenting programs is, is where we need to start with, and with our young parents, in order to make the change happen um, in, our, in our community, and just try and develop a parenting program that's more culturally appropriate, more culturally, with a cultural perspective. They've started outlining a framework, a model, for service providers and agencies to align their activities to. And then next year we're going to look at co-designing certain initiatives to really um, create a new benchmark, if you like, for how, for the relationship uh, between how government service providers, NGOs, etc. work with uh, these Aboriginal communities. So next year will be an exciting time <laughs> to look at that whole co-design process. The auditorium. The next session is about to begin. Please make your way back to the auditorium. Thank you. <laughs> Let's wrap it up.